Savannah Guthrie is going to be uh, talking here about how the White House views Dean, and they're going to throw some. Uh, the White House is going to throw some jabs at him, but uh, you know they feel compelled. The media does. This is on Morning Joe to also also throw in a couple of barbs at Howard Dean, <laughs> this outsider that wants to protect the American people. <laughs> he doesn't belong here. He doesn't even get paid by the corporations like the rest of us. Dude, just get out of here. Well, look, watch for yourself. Clip number seven. Howard Dean, they're, they're not pleased uh, with Dr. Dean speaking out about health care reform in this plan. Yeah, have you they're heard irritated. That? Yeah, oh, yes, yes, I have. And it's, isn't it fascinating? They're not, they don't seem to be too angry at Lieberman. They're, they're reserving their fervor for Howard Dean. But actually, uh, one senior official I took, talked to this morning paid a, the, the highest insult, which was to call him irrelevant. <laughs> to the entire health care debate. You know, he kind of had his moment in the sun in the last week when this Medicare expansion looked like it was going to be the thing that broke the logjam between the progressives and the party and the moderates. But of course, because of Lieberman, the Medicare expansion is gone. And now Dean is having what one official called a tantrum to me, and they think it's just not helpful. But they say he's irrelevant because bottom line is, even though in this meeting yesterday with all the Democrats, a lot of liberals did blow off steam. There's a lot of frustration. They're annoyed that the public option is gone, that then they compromised to do the Medicare expansion. Now it's gone. At the end of the day, the moderates are holding sway over this bill. But, but, but at the end of the day, the president's been able to hold them in line, and they think progressives will be with them. Oh, this man throwing a tantrum. You see, Rob, you hear Joe in the background? <laughs> yeah, that can live. Yeah, throwing a tantrum in favor of the American people. Yeah, he's a loser outsider. Yeah, he's, he's irrelevant. Don't worry about him. And, uh, you know, uh, Gibbs Im implied uh, later in the day that he was not acting rationally. You know, crazy Howard Dean, you know. See, this is what pisses me off more than other things, okay. Now, the whole thing pisses me off, as you can tell, right. But it's not just that they say, like, you know what I'm saying? Nate Silver, Jonathan Alter, the people on the other side who say, hey, look, there's still things, good things in this bill to fight for. I say, look, they make good points, and it's interesting, and it's not clear cut. I don't dismiss them. I, I don't question their motives. The people make, taking money from corporate America to, for their votes, I question their motives. right? But when it comes to the Obama administration, not only are they not on your side on this, the people who voted for them, okay, you libs, you progressives, right? but they view you as irrelevant. And when you raise legitimate concerns, they say you're throwing a tantrum. They're mocking you. They're spitting in your eye. And then they say, what, 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 what? How, how could anybody be against this? We have your best interests in mind. You voted us, now shut up and go away and let us, you know, make sure that 30 million new people get funneled into private insurance coffers. How dare you question us, you throwing a tantrum little child. That kind of dismissive attitude, man, if it doesn't get under your skin, you're not paying attention. And by the way, I know you're paying attention because I've seen the polls. New poll out saying 30 percent of Democrats saying if there is no public option that they're not going to go vote in 2010. An earlier poll said, uh, let me give you the numbers, 81 percent of Republican voters uh, say they're definitely or probably voting. 81 percent, that's a high number. When you get to Democrats, 56 percent say they're definitely or probably voting. 40 percent say they are not likely to vote or definitely will not vote. Now, 40 percent of Democratic voters don't show up on election day, you know what's going to happen? You're going to get massacred. Okay? And I'm giving you a warning sign now. We gave the warning signs to the Republican Party in 06 and 08. The numbers look terrible for them, and they didn't listen. Right? Now, is the Democratic Party going to listen? If your voters don't show up because you mock them, and you spit in their eye, and you treat them like children, and you think they're stupid, and they, did, they don't understand a, any of the nuances of what you're trying to do, well, then they're not going to show up, and you're going to lose. And then the final straw that's going to, you know, break that camel's back and drive me crazy is then they will turn around and go, oh, damn it, we lost because uh, the American people thought the Republicans were right. We have to go further right wing. Wait for it, because it's coming.